If you run Facebook video ads, you may be interested in downloading your competitors' videos from the Facebook ads library to see what's already working for them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record and extract high definition video URLs from the Facebook ads library as we legally use their service using nothing but a web browser. Head to the Facebook, I mean Meta ad library where you can download the data for any ad that's currently running on Meta from any public advertiser. You can even download historical data for certain categories. Pick your country, then for some reason you have to pick an ad category, just do all ads. Then you can either search by keyword or look up a specific advertiser like your competitor. I'll just use Starbucks for this example. We'll pretend we're Dunkin Donuts and we're trying to revamp our advertising. So here are the results, and by video ads, we can see these previews here. So we can watch all of these in our web browser, do our own research, but if you want to get the downloadable high definition URLs, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But first, I recommend clicking on this filter here, and under media type, only select video ads. This will make our life easier in extracting the data. You can also change any of these filters that you want because we're just using the website normally. Now I've restricted the results to only video ads on Starbucks and I can see it's about 320 results, though this isn't exact. Now I want to record the network traffic used to populate this page in the Facebook ads library. So right click on the page and hit inspect, which will open up developer tools and automatically begin recording your web traffic. You can then click on the network tab here to see all the details of the network activity from the Facebook ads library. Now refresh the page here to reload that first set of results from the Starbucks ads. To access the video URLs, go under this filter and type in search underscore ads. This may change in the future, but it's not too likely. And then sort by size and you'll see this huge payload here, 14 kilobytes will contain the raw JSON data used to power the user interface above on the Facebook ads library. So I can drill down and I wanna see the raw data behind this first ID here. So you can see it ends in 482. And this ad archive ID also ends in 482 and corresponds to this first object here. You can also see when the ad started running, which is useful as successful ads typically tend to run for a long time. And what I wanna point out is that each ad can have multiple versions or creatives or variations, whatever you wanna call it. So this video here that I show is from the first variation, which if you scroll down the raw data is under the snapshot object, then you have to scroll down and you'll see an option for cards. So the ads library UI is just showing us the first card. So we can see the caption here, sending a Starbucks card, dot, 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 or your gift card, they just want our money. And if you scroll down, you'll see this video HD URL, I think is the data you guys are after. So I can't legally recommend anyone go and access this URL, but if one hypothetically did, it would probably download a high definition version of that video creative, which I wanna prove to you right now. So I'm gonna close this stuff out, get rid of that filter, then under the network tab, I can go to media and I can inspect the actual HTTP calls that my browser uses to populate this media. I'm gonna click play here so I can watch the video. Then if I scroll down, I can see this 13 kilobytes corresponds to this request here. Now pay attention to this URL, it ends in .mp4. This is the standard definition URL, not the high definition URL. So I pasted it in there on the top line. And when I copy this video SD URL, a different one, you'll see it's the same exact one. So what's in the JSON corresponds to what the browser loads when I click the preview button. Now this high definition URL, it doesn't have a file ending for some reason. It just ends in dot and then a question mark for query parameters that are likely used to access the HD file. So if I take a closer look at the file here, let me just show you that there's no file ending. So if one were to hypothetically access this HD URL, you would need to manually add a file ending like .mp4 so you could watch the file appropriately on your computer. Now to get the rest of these videos, I'm just going to scroll down and each time I scroll, Facebook ads is gonna load more and more of these JSON blobs into my browser, which I'm capturing as I'm simply recording network traffic. So I'll be able to capture all these in the end. And I got to the end here, it took me all the way back to 2018, but this ad is inactive. I thought they weren't supposed to show inactive ads unless it was like for political stuff. So I'm not sure if this is a bug or a feature, but anyway, now we have all of this JSON data loaded in our browser under the network tab. So to get all this data out, we can use this down arrow right under the network tab labeled export har. Click that and it will create a combined file of all this JSON data Facebook sent to our browser. And using the link in the description, we can upload that file here to this har file web scraper embedded on this page. 
This will extract or scrape the data from a recording of Facebook instead of Facebook itself as to not violate their terms or suggest that you guys do. So this here groups together all of the related requests from the different pages. So you can click this blue link here and download that raw JSON data totally free. You don't even need an account. If you're comfortable processing JSON files, you can go and get the video URLs that way. However, if you just want a quick CSV file of these, you can sign up for a freemium account and click parse group to download up to 10 rows of data per day. You'll see here I got 181 rows, which is different from the 300 or so I was quoted. But down here I have 226 rows as this breaks them out by those different creative variations I'm gonna to touch on in a minute. So in this upper collection here that ends in results, each row will correspond to an ad archive library ID, which may have multiple variations. And we can see other fields here like the start date. This is a Unix epoch timestamp corresponding to April 22nd. Here's the landing page URL, which I know can be incredibly helpful. Here's a quick breakdown of where they're sending people. It looks like mostly to the homepage or to their app. Now these columns here with card zero in it is gonna to correspond to the first card that shows up here in the Facebook ads library UI. So that caption corresponds to the text we saw. And here are those video URLs I showed you earlier. So the standard definition one is the one that we saw in the browser loads the video. And the HD URL is the special one that doesn't have MP4 attached to it. Now, if I click on any of these ads, see ad details, I can see those two variations that I pointed out earlier in the raw JSON. So if I scroll down, I can see this ad has multiple versions. So it has two different videos. One's a square video, the other is a rectangle video. It looks like this is a bug in their UI. It should be showing me the square one, but whatever. It's Facebook, they move fast and break things. Now, if we want to get all of the different variations for all of the ads, we have to look at the second collection here that ends in cards. So remember, each card is a variation. So this here has two rows. These both refer to the same ad archive ID, but each of these rows refers to a different version of the same ad. So one URL has a URL to the square video, the other URL has the URL to the rectangle video here. And if I click download CSV, this software will add columns to the right that will reference the parent ad ID. So I can see here are the URLs for both of those different variations, but on the right side, I get the ad creative ID, so you can see those match. Now here I can see that this ad creative ID is repeated four times, meaning this ad has four different variations. Looks like one with no caption, one with a caption, and there are two different video URLs times two is four total video URLs. So it looks like Starbucks is doing two different types of split tests within the same ad so we can get an understanding for how their ad strategy works. And we can also see the landing pages here, which I know is incredibly useful for other marketers. Now, if one were to go to this video HD URL column and copy all these URLs and then paste them into a text editor, one could hypothetically access all these URLs and download all the video content for Starbucks to get all the videos of their ads. But because this access would fall outside an official Facebook client, I can't legally suggest anyone do that because it would likely violate the Facebook terms of service. But if one were to hypothetically do that, remember they would need to add .mp4 to whatever file they download because it's missing in this JSON for whatever reason. And maybe that's just how their servers are configured for whatever strange reason. So be careful. Thanks for watching until the end and check out this next video on scraping data from Instagram, which you can do legally using the same HAR file web scraping approach.